So in this week's video, I want to ask you a question, simple question. Do you like being creative? This is, I'm being quite serious here. This is a serious question. Do you like to be creative? Because I think if you can answer that question, you can really start to answer the question of whether or not you're really an entrepreneur, an accountant who's an entrepreneur, okay? Entrepre or sorry, an entrepreneur who's an accountant, or if you are simply a putting numbers in boxes person. Okay, and, and, I'll, and I'll explain why in a second, okay? But I, I remember having this conversation with one of the firms I was working with a couple of years ago, and I was talking about like, how are we gonna create our, our, our uh, it was about marketing and branding, and, and that's eventually what we get around this, and how you're gonna position yourself in the market, and one of our core values, right? And I came across and I said, well, and one of the core values is we are creative. I'm like, I wanna bring that out as one of the core values of the company, I said, you're creative. And two of the accountants was like, oh, no, 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 we can't be that. No, 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 we can't put that down. Don't put that down. And I, and I went, what? Like, huh? And I got it. I remembered, I remembered because they were thinking creative accounting, okay? It's like you're saying, oh yeah, we're creative accountants. In other words, we do a creative accounting. You want debits and credits? Oh, we'll just make it do this and then we'll make it. So it sounded like it was being shady, but that's not what I meant by it. I was thinking about it more from the term of being an entrepreneur, like being creative. And like, because the way I look at it is with any business, and, and this is how it works, is like if you have a business model, right? What is your business model? And I talk about this all the time in the accountant success formula. It says, okay, what is a business model? A business model is how, what? How you create, deliver, okay? And one of my favorites, capture, how you, del what? What's the answer? Business model is how you create, deliver, and capture value, right? Because as I say, value, or as I, I say, I think it was Warren Buffett or Charlie Munger said, value is what you, uh, values, price is what you pay, value is what you receive. So any, in any economic business model, every business, all they do is they create, deliver, and capture value. Now, when I said, let's be creative, we said that should be one of our, one of our uh, values in the company, the company values. It's funny, creating value, company values. I didn't realize that connection there. Because you have to, as a business, create value. You need to create, deliver, and then capture value. But then I realized what was going on. The people I was talking to, the accountants that I was talking to, they weren't in an entre entrepreneurial mindset because, and I had shared this video before about the difference between a bureaucratic mindset and an entrepreneurial mindset. Entrepreneurs are constantly looking to create more value. And the reason why I know the difference is that I used to be that bureaucratic accountant. Okay, I used to be the accountant that was, oh, the clients come to me and then I will make sure that they're compliant with all the tax rules and I will make sure they get their filings done correctly and it has to be done properly because I was basically one of the cogs in the wheel. I was one of the bureaucratic cogs in the wheel. I was putting numbers in boxes and making sure that clients were compliant because that's so important. And then all of a sudden I realized something. I went, oh, wait a second, I, I'm starting to sound like a government employee. Like really, most CPA firms act like government employees or they are frustrated and they can't figure out why it's because you're being controlled by a bureaucratic organization. Again, that was last week's video. And I would really big tear on that one. But let's talk about this. Are you creative? Think about it. Are you being creative with your clients? And I'm not talking about cooking their books or writing things off that you shouldn't. That's not what I'm talking about, be creative. But are you looking to say, how can I create more value for the client? How can I find a way to give the client even more value from what I can deliver. If I can create more value for them, they'll pay me more, right? And this is where the whole model doesn't work. The traditional model of billing by the hour and you just charge by the hour. So if you're working more hours, you're thinking you're getting more, giving the client more value, but you're not. You're just working more hours. Clients don't care how many hours you work. They want the result. So if you shift your thinking around value creation, and by the way, this firm that I was working with, they'd already shifted to the accountant success formula model. So they knew about this. But the minute I said, Do you, are, let's be creative. That's a, one, of our, one of our values of this company. And they're like, oh no, no, we can't be creative. It's like, wait a second, what's going on here? And I realized it's that whole connection between the bureaucratic thinking versus an entrepreneurial thinking. And so I want, you to, I want to ask you this question. Are you creative? If you're not, 
I invite you to think about this a little bit more and go, wait a second. So if I'm not being creative, I'm not creating some more value for the client. If I'm not looking at ways of increasing the value so I can capture more, create and then deliver and capture more value, then I'm not really being an entrepreneur. I'm just being a compliance donkey for the government. And that's what I call them as being a compliance. Donkey. And the reason why I say it that way with so much giggle is because I used to be one. Okay, I used to be one of those. But if you're one of those accountants that's frustrated at the model, and those are the ones I'm talking to, let's talk about creating value. Let's create, deliver, and capture more value. Let's be creative. Not creative accountants, being creative with the books and cooking books, but let's be creative in our value. How are we gonna create more value? And that's what the Accountant Success Formula is all about. And that's why I'm offering it for free. It's online. You can get it from my website. There's a landing page that you can access. If it's not up yet because this video come out timely, then just send me an email and I'll give you access to the course. And then you'll be able to take back control of your business model so you can create, deliver, and capture value. And then you can take back control of your life, which is what I say at the end of every video. And I did it again. I said it before the end of the video, but there you go. Um, so I'll just close like this. I'm Eric Solback and reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you'll take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.